Hi guys, my name is Lin. I'm a registered nurse that almost had three years massage experience and today we are going to talk about sickle cell anemia. Question number one. On the basis of the knowledge of inheritance of sickle cell gene, the nurse expects the most of patients to be on what descent? A. Children of African descent and Hispanics of Caribbean ancestry. B. Children of Middle Eastern and Indian descent. C. Children of Asian descent. Or D. Both African descent and Hispanics of Caribbean ancestry and Middle Eastern and Indian descent. The answer is A. Sickle hemoglobin genes most inheritance in peoples of African descent and them in Hispanic descent. Others such as Middle Eastern descent, Indian descent or Asian descent are less. And like I say, I worked on a message unit for almost three years. I have never seen any of the sickle cells patients are not African Americans. Okay, next question. On the basis of the knowledge of sickle cell disease, the nurse know which type of sickle cell disease is the most severe of sickle cell disease. A. Sickle cell anemia. B. Sickle cell thalassemia. C. Sickle cell hemoglobin C disease. Or D. Sickle cell tray. The answer is A, sickle cell anemia. It occurs when a person who have two hemoglobin S. The persons get the hemoglobin S from both of the parents. Sickle cell hyalocemia and sickle cell hemoglobin C occurs when a person get hemoglobin S from one parent and another type of abnormal hemoglobin from another parent. Both of those uh, sickle cell disease are less common and less severe than sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell trait occurs when a person gets one hemoglobin S from one parent and another hemoglobin A from another parent. And sickle cell trait is commonly a very mild case. Okay, next question. On the basis of the knowledge of the sickle cell disease, the nurse knows sickle shape erythrocytes cause A. Cellular blockage in small veins B. Decreased organ perfusion C. Tissue ischemia and infarction D. All of the above The answer is D. Those blood cells form into the shape of a sickle, like the letter S. So those cells stick together and couldn't easily move through the blood vessel. So answer A is correct. And then cause tissue ischemia and infarction. So C is also correct. And then it decreased organ perfusion. So B is also correct. So the answer is answer D. Okay, next question. Which patient is most likely to experience anemia related to an increased destruction of red blood cells? A. A 49 year old man whose alcoholism has precipitated folic acid deficiency. B. A 37 year old woman with a history of heavy periods accompanied by anemia. Or C, a 5-year-old child whose impaired growth and development is attributable to serothemia. D, a 24-year-old African-American man who has a diagnosis of sickle cell disease.
The answer is D. A result of sickling episodes in sickle cell anemia involves increasing hemolysis of sickle cells. Option A and Option C, folic deficiencies and salicylamia cause a decrease in atheroparesis. And Option B, the anemia related to menstruation is a direct result of blood loss. Okay, next question. A patient lab report reveals a hemoglobin level of 11 gram per deciliter. The nurse expects to observe which clinical manifestation. Select all the apply. A. Glossitis. B. Palpitations. C. Dyspnea at rest. D. Exertional dyspnea. Or E. Extremely fatigued and feeling cold. The answer is B, palpitations, and D, extension dyspnea. Option A, glossitis is the swollen and inflate of the tongue. Glossitis is one of the manifestations of severe anemia in which the patient has hemoglobin below 6. Here, the patient hemoglobin is 11. It indicates a mild anemia. So, palpitation and exertion dyspnea are the right answer. Option E. Extremely fatigued and feeling cold is also a manifestation of severe anemia. Okay, next question. The nurse is caring for a patient admitted for treatment of sickle cell disease. The nurse records that with repeat episodes of sickling, there is gradual involvement of all body systems and organs, especially which one? A. Liver B. Heart C. Stomach or D. Lungs The answer here is D, lungs. Sickle cell patients with repeat episode of sickling, there is gradually involvement of all body systems and organs, especially the spleen, lungs, kidneys, and brain. Organs has a need of large amounts of oxygen, like the lungs are most often affect and form the basis of many of the complications of sickle cell disease. Okay, next question. A patient with sickle cell disease is discussing his therapeutic regimen. Which statement by the patient indicates further teaching is needed? A. I should drink a lot of fluid every day. B. Colder temperature can cause a sickle cell crisis. Or C. I should take one baby aspirin daily to help prevent sickle cell crisis. Or D, I should avoid vacationing Cooling in areas of high altitude. The answer is C, aspirin inhibits platelet aggregation and warm help prevent sickle cell crisis. The medication hydroxyurea is prescribed for some patients to help prevent sickle cell crisis. Option A is right. Dehydration can precipitate a sickle cell crisis and should be avoided. Option B is also right. Cold temperatures cause blood vessels to narrow and increase the chance of red blood cell becoming sickling and stick to blood vessel walls. Option D is also correct. High altitudes increase oxygen demand and can cause a crisis. Okay, next question. The nurse will begin a patient's transfusion of packed red blood cells at 8.30. The nurse should plan to stay in the patient's room until what time? A. 9 o'clock B. 8.45 D. 9.15 or D. The nurse doesn't have to stay at all. As soon as the blood starts to transfuse, the nurse can leave the room. The answer is B. As part of the standard procedure, the nurse remains with the patient for the first 15 minutes after handing a 
blood transfusion. Patients who are likely to have a transfusion reaction more often will exhibit signs in the first 15 minutes. Okay, next question. A patient with sickle cell anemia is experiencing a vasal occlusion sickle cell crisis secondary to pneumonia. Which medication treatment should the nurse anticipate the HCP ordering for the patient? A. Admitted the patient to private room and keep it reverse isolation. B. Admit meperidine, demerol, IV. Or C. Infuse D5W half normal saline at the rate of 125 ml an hour. Or D. Insert a Foley caster to, cl to close monitor intake and output. The answer is C. Increasing IV fluid reduces the viscosity of blood, therefore preventing further sickling as a result of dehydration. Option A is not necessary because other patients will not affect this crisis. Option B. The drug meperidine is no longer recommended for long-term pain management because the side effect can cause seizures. Option D is wrong. Yes, we do need to close monitor intake and output, but there is no reason to insert a Foley catheter. Alright guys, and that's it for today's sickle cell anemia and collect style question practice. And remember to check out my channel. I have other and collect style practice questions too. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.